start. As a matter of fact, in our opinion, the writ petition number 5174 of 2015 ought to have been straight away disposed of with a direction to the district basic education officer to look into the proposal of the management for appointment of the respondent and pass appropriate orders thereon. The writ petition was entertained and only notices were issued for exchange of affidavits and it was during the pendency of the said writ petition that the appellant set up his claim for compassionate appointment. The respondent authorities in our opinion were therefore right to that extent that any claim would be subject to outcome of the said writ petition but at the same time it would be necessary to re-emphasize that the assistant director of education basic in the later dated 21-2016 and the district basic education officer Sultanpur in the later dated 11-2016 had themselves taken a view that it would not be appropriate to make any appointment till the matter is sub judice. But what appears is that the matter caught speed after the orders of the basic education minister and then the district ed basic education officer on 18-4-2016 and 28-4-2016 altered his stand for offering appointment to the appellant. This persuasive method of crystallizing an order in violation of principles of natural justice cannot be therefore appreciated in law. Para. The district basic education officer, instead of taking decision after hearing the respondent petitioner, straight away proceeded to comply with the decision of the committee headed by the assistant director of education basic where the district basic education officer had himself participated as one of the members. Consequently, the order of the district basic education officer dated 2-6-2016 to that extent cannot be sustained and accordingly, the interim order passed by the land single judge on 8-6-2016 does not require any interference on that count. Dr. L. P. Misra has, however, vehemently urged that the appellant does not deserve any compassionate appointment in as much as his father is still alive and who retired from the post of a principal of an aided institution and is receiving a very substantial amount as pension. He further submits that his family is also receiving family pension on account of death of the petitioner's mother and there is no element of distress, much less any financial distress so as to claim compassionate appointment. This is being seriously disputed by Sri Parihar contending that much parameters are not available under the compassionate appointment rules in the present controversy. Para. We are not expressing any opinion on the same leaving it open to the district basic education officer to record his independent finding on such an issue including the eligibility and qualification of any candidate who may succeed upon the outcome of a fresh decision in the light of the directions given herein after. However, since all the parties have agreed to the final disposal of the matter, it would be appropriate to issue an equitable direction so as to protect the interest of both the parties as well as the management of the institution. Stop.